Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now we've already looked at Ajax and sending data to a page to return um, a specific value from this page. And we did this with using um, a name in a text field or some text in a text field. We click load and it returns that data. Now what happens if an error occurs and um, something can't be processed or for example the page is not available can't be found or returns an error. Now, in this case, we need to add a hook onto the end of our um, Ajax uh, call here in order to um, actually process or catch this error. So what we do is we add a dot and error. Um, and this, uh, bear in mind, comes after uh, the main um, parentheses that Ajax is within. And then we create a function inside of here and uh, we're going to go ahead and pull that down a bit. Now, if there is an error, we are going to alert an error occurred. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to change the name of this file to page.ph, which doesn't exist, and therefore we should return an error. So let's go ahead and refresh and uh, go ahead and type a name in. Click load, and you'll see that uh, the page says an error occurred. So you might have seen this happen on sites that use Ajax. You might have seen um, a pop-up com coming up just saying uh, request not could not be completed, etc, etc, etc. We do have other hooks that we can add onto the end of this as well. We can use um, success and we can also use uh, complete as well. Complete. So I'll just uh, talk about uh, what they are and you know what how they work as opposed to actually giving an example um, complete will always run after the Ajax um, you know process has been carried out so as long as this is complete uh, you may want to um, you know you wouldn't you might want to alert the user uh, or you may want to carry out carry out another operation once this Ajax Ajax request is complete um, we also have uh, success now this is different to complete. Uh, complete means that it's run but may have returned an error, but success means that uh, the uh, operation has completed successfully, the request has completed successfully. So that's the main difference between complete and success. And we can add these on um, one after another, we can just append them on to each other. So there we go, we could have perhaps um, an alert just in here. Uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, again um, append on the complete uh, callback. So that's uh, generally what you do with these. Um, depending on uh, your use for them, error is an extremely useful one because uh, obviously if an error does occur, uh, you want to be able to tell your user as opposed to them just having you know a blank page and nothing happening. Um, again, success and complete are useful. I'd probably say that success is more useful because uh, once this has uh, completed, uh, you can then go ahead and do something. So that's the, um, or rather these are different event handlers um, or uh, event callbacks um, after our Ajax request. 